started to put out some flames and actually started running out of extinguishing materials. And uh, they turned to their cargo, and their cargo basically consisted of fish bait and soy sauce, big 55 gallon drums of soy sauce. So yeah, they tried to dump the fish and the soy sauce onto the fire, and of course it didn't work. Basically turned the boat into a giant block. True story. Now, out of all the fish, burned all the soy sauce, and the locals on the Big Island Boy could smell this, and they dumped the boat, they called it the teriyaki boat. <laughs> yeah, true story. But maybe a bag of sugar, right? It would be called the teriyaki boat because sugar and soy sauce mix. Never mind. I think only half of you got the joke down there. No, but it really, really happened. And, the, and basically, the uh, owners never claimed it. They were abandoned ship, and uh, basically, the vessel became more of the state. The state of Hawaii then towed it back to this island of Oahu. And for how many years, San Pedro bounced around from harbor to harbor. State quite unsure what to do with the vessel. It's actually last sitting at Cape Lagoon. And about 10 to 12 feet of water just becoming an eyesore. So the state was ready to take it miles offshore and take it about 13 miles offshore, be done with it. But of course, the land is called wind of this, and as you can see here, to visit it to, um, to donate, donate this vessel to our diocese. So it was free, although not totally free, cleanup costs on the San Pedro because it was pretty.